Hello everyone, Crystal Petoff here. Uh, today I am going to demonstrate how to do the division for an egg that looks like this. Really easy. This is kind of uh, piggybacking off what we did last week and when we used these suction cups. So this suction cup is, um, if I smoosh it down, it's about an inch and a quarter, three centimeters across. I, I got this a while ago, uh, but Christmas people use these, they stick them on their uh, windows and then they can string the lights to them is how they're used. I don't remember where I got it. And then I used my uh, template and I made, I made these little marks at the um, 90, 45, 90 thing. Um, anyway, so I did that to help me. So our division. I'm using a practice egg. This egg has a lot of bumps. So I would never use this for a completed pasanka, but uh, I, so I'm going to draw a very heavy line so you can see what I'm doing. So the first thing I'm going to do is divide my egg into at the 90, 90, 60, like that. And then I'm going to connect these all the way around the egg. See, I'm, uh, I have learned that drawing on an egg while you're videotaping it, I do not tend to draw the best of lines. Uh, I could blame it on the egg because it's bumpy, but it's also because uh, I'm trying to watch myself while I videotape this and talk at the same time, and uh, that's not usually the way I do an egg. So, so bear with me. Okay, so we got our lines all the way around the egg, right like that. Now I'm going to draw the equator line. So I will measure for that. I tend to use the centimeter side because it's easier for me to divide by uh, tens than the inches. You do want um, for this division, you do want some fairly accurate as possible lines, uh, divisions I should say. These lines don't necessarily have to be perfectly straight, but you do want your divisions to be pretty good so that your egg will turn out uh, fairly even with these four circles that we're going to draw on it. So I, I marked the four. And now I am drawing the equator on there. Okay. Okay, so I have my equator line on there. All right. The next thing I'm going to do is take my, my little suction cup and I'm going to place it in kind of the middle of one of these, there'll be eight sections on your egg. So I'm putting it kind of in the middle of that. It overlaps it a little bit on the sides. That's okay. All right, let me turn it just like that. Okay, good. All right, and now I'm going to draw the circle around it. Okay, so I put a circle here. Now I'm going to skip this one and I'm going to put another circle here. I'm doing the same thing. It was a little sloppy, but you get, so there's another circle. Now that's on the top 
or end of the egg. Now I'm going to turn it over. And so I have a circle here, a circle here. So now I'm going to put a circle right here. And I learned this division from the Ukrainian gift shop uh, pattern book. I believe it is number three. And uh, it's got a lot of great patterns in there. So got one here, skip here, and now I'm gonna draw one here. So they're, they're every other section. Okay, so I have four circles on my egg. Two here and two here. Now this is where um, if you have a suction cup that works uh, exactly for that size, okay. But if it doesn't, here's where you use the suction cup as a bit of a guide. So what I'm going to do now is around this circle, I'm going to draw another circle. And because the egg isn't perfectly flat and it's oval shaped, it may not be a perfect exact circle. Because what I want to do is I want to I want the circle to go here and here and here. So I I put those three marks on it and now I'm going to draw a bigger circle around the circle I already drew and I'm kind of using the circle I already drew and those marks that I drew to help guide me as I draw the circle. So I do freehand some of this stuff. People said, oh you use washers and all that. I thought you just drew circles. Well, I do draw circles. Okay, so I have little circle, bigger, bigger circle. Now I'm going to do the same thing on this one. So I'm, I want it to go here and here and then up at that top. So I'll start, I, I started at the top. You can start wherever you feel comfortable. And now again, I draw my circle oh, using the one I drew with the, the suction cup and make another circle there, right like that. So now I have circle, circle, circle. Okay, now we're gonna do the same thing on the bottom. So here, here and here is where I want my circle to go. So it will go here and it's just barely going to touch this one and then it'll go around and it will barely touch over here and then it will come back up to the top or well in this case the bottom. I say it's the bottom because that's where I put the hole. And now we'll draw our last circle. So it will go here down to here. And then here over to there, just barely touching that. And then up here to the top, the bottom, sorry. Okay. So there are um, the, the four circles, they're touching, and I have this triangle in the middle. That was the division I did. Uh, this was the pasanka, again, that I ended up making. This um, is for a, a friend of my mother's and um, 
so after I drew my lines, I did draw in the, the sunflower. Uh, was the only other thing I drew in. Uh, then my color sequence on this one was I did uh, yellow and I, I did this little part in here, uh, yellow, that was really all I did, yellow. And then I uh, used swabbed green over here for the leaves. I tried to get two different shades of green. Um, if you look at it closely, you can see that in the leaves are, is a different shade. It may not show up well in the video. Uh, and then I put it in the orange, which is this color, and got that shade of orange. Then I dunked it in the dark red for like, I don't even know if it was five seconds, to get this deeper shade of orange. And then I used um, a mix that I created that is uh, two two parts light blue, one part red, and one part purple, and it makes this very deep blue. It might look black on the video, but this is a very deep blue. Uh, and, uh, and then that was my color sequence. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and if there's certain divisions or tips you would like me to demonstrate, please let me know. I'd be happy to do that. Thanks and have a wonderful, eggingly happy day.